support the full-time families rally um, and basically what the full-time families is a group of families who live full-time <laughs> in their RV there's 84 families here and this morning we're taking Hensley dropping her off which we don't get to do very often so that's exciting <laughs> for an hour <laughs> yeah but while she's being watched we're going to be walking around doing something called the Parade of Homes. Several families, um, not all 84 RVs, but several of them open up their RVs to let people walk around and see them. It's very unique to do that because we almost always see RVs that are empty. You know, they're brand new and... You have I'm, to kind of picture how you would live full time in one. Yeah. So this is a different perspective for sure. really cool isn't it babe yeah they just made it home you know there's tons of space and they've all got a good size personal space three know? kids i mean two teenagers yeah and so they've taken their adventures uh -huh. and made it a part of the rv so you got pictures hanging oh, yeah. up and uh, teeth and shells and just everything this family's been on the road over seven years Wow. So as a teenager, this would be pretty awesome having this as your space. Like, I would be cool with this being my space. It's really cool. Like your own little treehouse loft. So they have three kids that are teenagers. The daughter sleeps up top and then the boys share a room down below. This is like a treehouse model. So never seen this one. It's really cool. And they said, what, there's a hatch? Is this the hatch right here? So originally there was a ladder here that yep. went up to there and you guys have modified that. But that's pretty cool though. I mean, I could see kids really, really loving that. So, new mark. <laughs> Some sort. So this has been painted. They make dash paint. Who knew? Everything's been changed. Right there. Floors, furniture. Uh, we did a really good primer, paint. and the ceiling actually has been perfect. So this is a mid-engine diesel, and I'm going to show what's cool about that here in a minute. Oh, uh, look at that, babe. Yeah, this is really cool. It was like, and then this is where the hatch is, where the engine is under, and this is our table we made. <laughs> so they thought that was so funny that before I so cool. That's very creative. What's the model number? It's 3950. 3950. And there's, it's an all-star. There's three all-stars. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, there's 4156, which is a toy hauler. Uh -huh. There's 3951 and then 3950. We looked at some of the toy hauler ones, but I didn't, I never knew they made yeah. them. We never ran into this. No. Oh, this is so cool. So pretty. It was a yellow shower with a shower door. And so Marriott has a DIY package that they the company that redoes all their showers did a DIY package. So I just, re I, you patch yeah, the holes where the shower door goes, um, and then you just refinish it. And Because we've looked at that, actually, mm -hmm. but I didn't know if they made anything, because our door takes up the I whole know. bathroom. And then we did this, so, like, you've seen those, right? Mm -hmm. So here, you pull yeah, it out like it out. this, and it comes out, and then, so it's way bigger, but then you push it back in. Cool. And so it doesn't take up as much room. Because we did the other one first, I just put some gray paint on here because I didn't want it darker just because it's a small room. Yeah. And then everything I do is just these, my whole life is these <gasps> spinning things. Like That's in my awesome. kitchen. That's all I have in my kitchen is the spinning ones. And I love the design. It's perfect because it's simple, it's clean, but it's modern, but fun. That's what I love. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's my, how many kids do you have? Check this have out. So cool. Look at that. So you got a step up area. Oh my goodness. Up in its bunk area at top. And then look at this down low. Is that a queen down low? This is genius. Wow. Oh look, it's got a TV right here on the back of the steps. I mean, this just shows if you're willing to look for used stuff and find something unique, you never know what you're gonna find. So the owner said that this used to be owned by a guy that had clients that were in movies and so they would want to stay with their family like if it was you know children that were actors or their 
the parents that were actors that wanted to stay with their kids. So this was originally owned by people that were doing that. So it was by multiple. Who were all the people, all the movie? Um... So did you come back here? Yet? Uh, this is what we were told by the owner. Well, Abigail we'll Breslin, we'll Abigail Breslin uh, Little Miss Sunshine, and then two other horror flicks. I haven't seen those ones. And then William Defoe, Chloe Sabigny, and I can't remember the fourth one. It's another famous name. Uh, there was a TV up wow. here. We took it out Isn't and just matched neat? the cabinet. Uh -huh, and like yeah. it's amazing how much room there is down there oh, still. Yeah. Right? yeah. And there is a mirrored oh, headboard. My husband wanted to keep it, but well, it's, it's got a boat. It's got a boat feel because you only you know. It does. I don't think you need a mirrored uh... headboard. But there's one for sale right now. I think it's up for sale for ninety nine. We got this one for, I think eighty five. Wow. What Just, year? What year did you say? It's oh seven. Oh seven. They only were made in oh seven. You have an 07 diesel, any 07 diesel for 85. It had less I mean. than 30,000 yeah. miles. Yeah. There's That's one on Craigslist right now, she said. <laughs> 99. Yeah. Here's all the before photos. No, you know, the regular wood, the water, the couch. Yes, wow. It even, I wish the smell could come through on the video because it smells incredible in here. There's a 2016. 2016 Tesla, and they went out of business a month after we went Evergreen. Having the back yeah. open and just letting your kids play and letting the air come yeah. through like i love that there was a bottom queen that sold it into like a mcdonald's bench okay. <laughs> so she's got a nursery back here oh wow <laughs> This, yeah, when you have a toddler okay. or a younger child. Yeah, this is why we had a hard time deciding against the toy hauler. Toy haulers were a close second to the air Yeah. It's a three lap desk it's for good. homeschooling. <laughs> At least replacing them is like three dollars. Oh, it's an alpha, see you later. Is it, is that right? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'll see oh. you so long. See so long. That's yeah. right. <clears throat> I love what you guys did, man. Yeah. Thank you. We're still working on it, but next step is to paint all of our cabinets and trim. Yeah. <clears throat> but she said she's gonna paint it all white. You gonna do white? Uh, yeah. 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 Is that an IKEA bunk? Is that what? Yeah. I think we're supposed to... is. Yeah. That and that's the IKEA table. You can... Oh yeah. Yeah. I there it that. is. We love that thing. Uh huh. Uh, it was one of our favorite because we had the dinette where the bunk beds were. We ripped it all out, and that thing is fantastic. They've got a dishwasher. Tough too. for us to hear. Oh, it's got a dishwasher. Yeah. What yeah. year is this? It's a. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, wait. What's well, nice? This must be one of their high end ones for that year or something. This is a. Yes. A really rare layout. They didn't make very many split baths like this. Yeah. yeah it's really cool. It's open and. Yeah, the big sign points were the fact that they had the basement here, so they have an extra foot up high. Ah, oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. And then yes, a nice you like pantry. that extra foot. You still got. Yes. I mean, yeah, good grief. Yeah, I How can, tall are you? Six, seven. Wow. That's awesome. So that yeah. was a, a big selling point for us. Uh huh. That and then have a nice big pantry. Yeah, wow. I think I've left this on and it's nice and open, isn't it? Nice mm -hmm. big. Like the headboard. I like here for this header with this ugly orange thing down and put a big piece uh, Yeah, you open these doors and it just it's feels all open. big and open the whole way down. Things that you're looking at are functional, not. So we have a ceiling fan install in the master bedroom. Okay. We have a generator, an inverter. We have a composting toilet, and we've diverted the urine into the black tank so that we don't have to dump it all the time. Oh, that's a good idea. Yes. yes. <laughs> Stand up desk if you're working. Yes. That's spectacular. Uh, USB ports in the light fixtures so okay. that you can charge your devices off battery power. Great idea. Yeah. Uh, extra batteries and solar. And if you want, I'll show you how the IKEA couch works because you don't lose your storage space, which is the best thing ever. We hear a lot of IKEA walking around. Yeah, uh... yeah there's the home away, like her home reserve, which other people like too. But this was my favorite because it's a sleeper oh, couch, wow. but you still wow. have all your space yeah. underneath. Because huh. we had talked about getting a sleeper couch, and I was like, no, 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 no. What am I going to do? Yeah. There you go. And then that piece just flips down this way. It's great. How many kids do you have? Six. Six. Wow. It's composting. Okay. Um, and so there's the the urine divert with the pee trap yeah. into the black tank. We got a diesel van. Look at that. Yeah. We and drove it's from Montana, and it's from Canada. I imagine I had to go over a thousand miles to get mine. Around a thousand, yeah. Oh, we did too. It was over a thousand miles. 2012. You went to Canada to get yours, right? No, we went to Montana, but it's from Canada. <laughs> I, you got the same towing mirrors I do too. Who knew? We're not the only uh, diesel van in this place pulling a trailer. <laughs> I'm telling you, there's not a lot of that going on.
kids. Hey, we looked at this. Oh, yeah, there we go. That's awesome. Yeah, we looked at it. I'm crazy about the mid bunk. I think it's awesome. Some great design going on here. They put their own personal touches. That's when I love it. Little desk. That's cool. You would love that, Nathan. Mm -hmm. You just come and make this your office. That's a big question we get to is how do you work on the road with kids? And I think, especially if you have like a nine to five and you've just got to have that isolation. I think it's, this space comes in really handy. It's tough. Um, for us, a lot of our work is filming and then I can do stuff in the morning and late at night. So I make it work. But <laughs> if I had a job where they're like, hey, you gotta work from this time to this time, no interruptions. It's, it's tough without a big space like this. Under the loft area. That's, that's a this is so cool getting to do this. I know. Like this is just, even better than like RV shows. It is, <laughs> it is. I mean, we don't get to see stuff that's been personalized like this. It's ditching Suburbia's fifth wheel. And I absolutely love what they've done with taking the decals off of this. Look at that. No decals over windows, no swishes, no animals, nothing. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. Look at the front. Isn't that cool? Love the shoe rack. We took the couches out, put in the chairs. Oh, this is cool here. There's that metal for the knives. Yeah. Back bunk area. Look at that. I got a keyboard in here. <laughs> this is awesome. So did they redo? Yeah. He was saying, yeah, yeah the 07. Uh -huh. They said they painted yeah, everything and redid the floors. And... There's the Ikea again. That's shown up two or three times. Yeah, I like that they took all the balance. Uh -huh. It's open, airy. It's instant pot stores, baby. There you go. And they had a giant picture here, too. And I pulled the picture Hey. This is Abram. They hid this from You going to tell me about your YouTube channel coming up? Yep. What's it called? It's going to be called Wander Games. Yeah? What's it about? Video games. Video games. It's going to be totally awesome. Check out Abram's channel. Thanks. Get that thing going. I love your, I love your room, man. I like your name on the wall, the uh, Captain America thing going on. You like RVing? Yeah. Yeah. I like it a lot. We got carpeted walls. We're gonna have to stop touring this stuff, baby. No, <laughs> we've got we've got Airstream mouse fur, and I'm yeah. like, why don't we put some of that on the wall? It fur in a different way, <laughs> not fur like on the wall. Not here, yes. <laughs> We could so do that. Do you want the B board? Do you like that? Yeah, oh, better than super can easy, you especially when you have trim because yeah, it doesn't have to be perfect. Do it. Yeah, Couldn't it go up over we, the we wall? Could yeah, we could put it over the mouse first. Yeah, we're see. Trying to see what things oh, look at that sink. Do. That is cool. Yeah, behind the couch, sink is hand-painted from <laughs> Peru. Hand-painted from Peru? Did you, I didn't do it. You, did did you paint it while you were in Peru? Because that's pretty impressive. No, no. I didn't. Yeah, no. yeah, I just took out the this, you know, this the kitchen sink, and the um and the little side piece to a laminate guy, and he just laminated them. All right, last chance. No more takes. Yeah, no more takes. One All take. Right. All right, one take. One take. Nailed it. Ah, this one's cool. A little bit of everything. I'm loving the signature. Just right there. That's cool. Yeah, it was. All the panels were full, but then we washed them. <laughs> okay. Okay. Did you already ask how many kids? Been? Seven. Seven kids. What was this before? Another seat? Or? No, it was a kitchen. It was just teeny. It just oh, like okay. was super yeah. tiny. But convection up top. I mean, to get that much in that and small of a space, and really with a flat stove top, I mean, yeah. you're getting a lot of. Yeah. The bus had nine bunks. This is all Eric built us. So, like, there were two more bunks here. Uh -huh. And we just ripped them out. And he put this in because I needed storage. Yeah. You know? Um, yeah, that's awesome. So, we did this. It was done. This was a lounge. So, this was a wraparound couch. Uh huh. And then we had, we had to put a bed in and he put this vanity in, which we don't use. But. That's all storage. Is that not the tiniest closet? What is that, a foot? Look at this. Would you be able to 
That was that's my closet. Close. That's what mine We have an Airstream. Yeah. So that's oh, that's about what mine is now. I know. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> She's drooling at your closet. Yeah. Right now. Well, we used to have that. Now. Yeah. Well, I steal his side too, so. Yeah, yeah okay. okay. And this shower, like, look how big this shower is. This is the, sh um, this oh, is the wow. shower changing room. It's dirty right now, but it's the. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not that I have it. I was shoving everything in because I didn't, wasn't planning on being afraid of them. Crazy awesome checking out these RVs. We got to see how different families live. Oh, of all ages. That's what's crazy. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's anywhere from a baby and somebody having a nursery all the way to having teenagers. It's all about just making memories together, having a journey. It's not about the space, but I've loved seeing how people made the space their own and made the most of it. I mean, there's no right or wrong. We saw people with, you know, six kids in a travel trailer and <laughs> seven kids in a Prevo we saw, so it's whatever works for you. We're getting some playtime in and uh, there's a potluck going on later, barbecue, which is our fave. We're gonna wrap it up and call it a night. Catch you guys later.